You guys know what that is. That's the old Rug Doctor. I think the Rug Doctor Pro, they got a newer type out now. This the upholstery tool. I think I got the upholstery tool off of eBay. And I bought this from a Home Depot in Washington, D.C. Sometimes they sell tool rentals. So how can you make money using the Rug Doctor? I'm gonna show you guys. About four or five years ago, I was using the Rug Doctor right here to clean homes, but there are some pros and the cons to using the Rug Doctor. So I'm gonna tell you guys. Well guys, this is what I used to use to agitate carpets. It's a lot of work, it's cheap. I bought it from Home Depot. There's a lot of work, a lot of work on your back. When the carpets are really dirty, when you put your pre-spray down, it has to be agitated. But I went from this to the Oric. I got this off of eBay, cheap. You will use the black brush specifically for carpets. Don't forget you're gonna need a good vacuum also. So there's a good vacuum right here. I use a bristle. You're gonna need a bucket. Like I said, there are some pros and cons to using the Rug Doctor. Rug Doctor is not gonna do a good job on rat nasty carpets. I already experimented with that and I had used the Rug Doctor years ago. I came across rat nasty carpets, carpets with soil filtration lines like with the black lines and white carpets like be on the edges. It's not gonna do anything to that. But carpets that are lightly soiled, with no like major stains like paint, glue, anything that's sticky, wax, anything. Rug doctor's not gonna do anything. But if it's lightly soiled carpet, you can do a good job. You might come across a lot of folks who just like to have their carpets clean, like maintained like every six months, or maybe even more than that. And you can do a good job. Because the more often someone has their carpet maintained, it's, it's not going to really build up with a whole bunch of soil or those tough stains because they, they're getting it clean more often. So you can do a good job. But always, we got a rug doctor. Always try to find out what type of condition the carpet's are in. If you know the carpet's in bad shape, red nasty carpets, another thing you can do, get your potential customer to send you pictures of the carpet. So you can see what type of condition it is. If the carpets are in bad condition, you might need to invest a little bit of money on renting a carpet extractor, like from Home Depot or Sunbelt, some any other place that has the uh, carpet extractor. But they're gonna do a better job on those rat nasty carpets. But also, you need to spend money on good chemicals, not those cheap chemicals out of the stores. So you need to do your research. And then when you start generating money, whatever, being patient and start building your business and, and generating money, then you may have to go to a portable or probably truck amount. See, I have a portable now, but my goal next year in 2020, 2021, I'm going to get me a, um, a truck amount and I know I'm going to do it. Another little secret, you guys, you need to take photos of your work and make videos of your work. The carpet cleaning work. If you never did a carpet cleaning job before, what I used to do, Start out cleaning homes of people you know, so you can also give reviews and recommendations, like your friends or your family members or your home. I remember I made a video a long time ago of me cleaning a staircase and getting out some stains at my house. Just like you know, some way to start making my own videos and posting them so folks can see. Because posting your own videos is almost like a, like a reference. So they not they not people is not just gonna go by like pictures. Because sometimes people can take pictures of somebody else's work and then act like it's theirs so make sure if you can also put your like business logo on your photos whatever or your videos make sure you have a business logo you guys are going to need some pop-up sprays i would say probably around four this pop-up spray right here is for deodorizer you can deodorize carbon furniture i have another pop-up spray for pet stain removal you make a lot of money remove pet stains I have a third pump of spray for carpet in front of protection and your fourth pump of spray will be for your pre-spray. You 
guys going to need a, a spotting kit. Well, if you don't want to get a spotting kit, you need chemicals to remove spots and stains out of carpets. You will come across paint, oil, grease, ink, nail polish, gum. You can make a lot of money, especially when I run into a lot of these type of stains in kids' rooms. I bought this kit last summer for 175 bucks. I mean, it takes money to make money. You can pay this thing off in one job. So you guys gonna need chemicals to remove these stains. Make your customers happy. Because happy customers, are re they'll be repeat clients and they refer you to other folks. Here are some jobs I've done in the past when I had the rug doctor. Residential home before picture. After picture. Commercial location before picture. And after. Hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to make money with the rug doctor. I had done research in the past and I didn't see anyone posting anything on YouTube about how to make money with the rug doctor. There's still some folks out there in the carpet cleaning industry who's using the rug doctor. So I hope this video was beneficial. Please like and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell to be notified of my new videos.